Hey guys, I heck here with some CSGO content. I'm using Liquid Sky, but let me make it clear that I'm not currently using Android as I normally do. I'm using Liquid Sky through my laptop. I have played CSGO through my laptop a couple of times, but I didn't play much because I only had a touchpad. Last autumn, I did buy a very, very cheap mouse and keyboard, but never tried playing CSGO with them. So I figured, why not try with Liquid Sky? I just say it was a good experience. For the ones who don't know, I assume most of you guys do, but Liquid Sky is a cloud computer who does all the work of processing the game and sending it back to my device. Really just basically streaming it to my device. It could be an Android device, PC, Mac, Linux. At the moment, there is no iOS support, you know, like for the iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. But that is really to be expected when it comes to experiment services like this. You know, Apple with their closed garden, whatever. I am using the recording software OBS within Liquid Sky. They have their own built-in recorder, um, Liquid Sky does, which you can use. And it's very simple and straightforward. But it can be a bit buggy and not as flexible as third-party programs. The built-in recorder used to work fine, but I don't know what the issue is now. So what you're seeing isn't necessarily what I'm seeing because we're recording with the Liquid Sky and not through my laptop. So on my side, you may get a, may get some quality drops, but for the most part, there wasn't one issue. It was really clear. Typically, when I do this with my tablet, my Liquid Sky content, um, I just use an Elgato, my Elgato HD60. So almost what you're seeing is what I'm seeing. Although YouTube does compress to the quality of my videos and compared to the raw quality, uh, I honestly gotta say it's not very comparable. The raw footage is just so much better. But I'm getting off track. Also, I had better gameplay footage. I had moments where I hit like three triples. I mean, I mean two triples. And it was my first time ever doing this on CSGO. Well, I only played like 24 hours. I only got a 24 hours on CSGO. But still, that's like my first good moments. No BS didn't capture it. The only thing I had was some black screen and audio. I was so mad. <laughs> well, mad, but it was kind of frustrating. But I figured out the issue. It's something to do with it being inside full screen mode. And me gotta have different settings. But it's a learning experience. I'm glad I went through it. So maybe I can help others out. But I have used OBS before with my NVIDIA Show tablet and my Agato. But it's a different experience. The main thing people are probably curious about is the input lag, which is something I was curious about. I honestly didn't expect it to work this well. Do us all a favor because all this is being handled on a server that's hundreds of miles away, who not only have to stream the video to my laptop, but, have, but when I press a key, the information from my laptop has to be sent from my house all the way to the nearest server, and that information to the Valve servers. And I have to say, I didn't feel a handicap at all. I never truly felt like I died because I'm using a cloud computer. It did happen a couple times, but overall my experience wasn't like that. Inside this gameplay, I don't believe that happened. And this gameplay was after about four hours of playing. And I haven't played a dedicated first person shooter in years. The last one I played was like Borderlands 2 in 2012 to 13. I mean, it's been years. And I have to say, I think I did pretty well. I did play Critical Ops. I think it was when I first got my keyboard and mouse. Just to test it out. And plus they had a stream going. Um, on my crush. So I wanted to join this out that. I didn't take it seriously. I didn't really play that much. Oh, for those I know, Critical Ops is a Counter-Strike-like game. Like, you know, tactical base, whatever. Yeah, it's a pretty decent game. It's a mobile as well. That's where I typically play it. Well, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I want to install CSGO natively on my laptop and compare my experience with the cloud compared to it just playing natively since I haven't played it so long. But I may just stick to using it through the sky because for one, my laptop doesn't get as hot. It doesn't require to use as much battery. Really no more than streaming a YouTube video. And I can continue to use application in the background without it affecting my gameplay 
or affecting other applications themselves. Well guys, enjoy the rest of the video, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and see you guys next time. Good game. I can play calm now, boy.